today is appraisal day. I am at the Hunterdon Art Museum here in Clinton, New Jersey, and I'm gonna get this baby appraised. If any of you remember or have seen my one of my previous trash videos, I found this painting in the trash. Is it worth anything? Is it even a real painting? So I'm here at the Art Museum with Rego Auctions with some of the appraisers that they have from PBS Antiques Roadshow. And we're gonna see what this is worth. can't take furniture. That's a nice table too. Chairs, not so much. Oh, of course. Oh. Darn it, it's ripped. I forgot my gloves. Those are hangers. Cat scratcher. Oh. No. I'm not doing that since there was another cat here. Darn it. I saw that painting and I thought it would be good. And that's a neat Washington Street, Boston. Collier, Dolce, Dolce, Collier, and Perkins. Darn it. Oh, that was an actual. What a shame. That stinks. It's a nice scene. You know what? How do you remove that? You gotta take all the nails out. I wonder if anyone would be able to repair it. I'm gonna take it. Why not? I feel bad leaving it. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff at, like the Getty and the George Eastman Museum, that Dodge Collier and Perkins. But, um, so yeah, I mean, probably, you know, back in the day, I mean, it was probably a, a very expensive, you know, work of art to put in your in your home. But let's see if I can. You're welcome. Thanks for oh, yeah. And I will definitely be in touch about the Jenkins. Yeah. I was just thinking of getting rid of the like, better double Yeah, he's true. I do look about for you. Too bad it was an oil painting by him. Yeah. <laughs> I actually I found this in the trash. Yeah. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. I was gonna leave it because of the damage and then when I saw the older label on the frame, yeah. well at least I can just save the frame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so as it is, I mean, I mean, the water col watercolors by the artists can bring, you know, th thousands yeah. of teens in there, but, but yeah, in, this, Not in the condition and everything, <laughs> uh -huh. just, yeah, yep. you probably just salvaged the frame at this point. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But thanks for bringing it in. Oh, thank cool. you. Yeah. I mean, you don't always see them laid down onto canvas either, which would have been. 
a more costly method. Okay. But then also, um, it, it would have also made it seem even more like a painting because it's not behind yeah. glass. Yeah. So, because exactly. a lot of times if it's just on paper, they're just going to put it behind glass, and that's kind of like a clue. Mm -hmm. But in this way, the way that it would have been framed, if you could imagine at the time, it would have really given that impression. Looks good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's save the frame at least. Yeah. <laughs> Someone can enjoy it. Exactly. What is it worth? Nothing. <laughs> It felt like one of those moments that you see on Antiques Roadshow when someone says, oh, my great, great aunt Gertrude passed this down through the family and, you know, she had it hanging above her fireplace as long as she lived and it, it, it has to be worth thousands. No, it's not. <laughs> but it was a learning experience. I did notice when I looked at the painting closely that it it doesn't have that painting look to it you know if, if you take a magnifying glass and you look you could usually you should be able to see brush strokes and um, I don't want to call them smudges but you know build up of the paint it's not on this it it was tricky because this is on canvas it's not just on paper it's the paper print or chromolithograph but it's on canvas, so that's what kind of threw it off. Now, if this would have been an original Benjamin Champney painting, look him up please, it could have been worth a great deal of money, but it's not. It was just a print or a chromolithograph, which was a fancy way, an expensive way back then, as the appraiser even stated, to make a copy of a painting. This way, a family that couldn't afford an original painting, they could have some artwork in the home that looked very similar to an original. Now the frame, it is a period frame, so later 1800s, early 1900s, and the company that made the frame, they used to make stereo graph, stereo view cards, not graph. You know, it had that nice label, so everything looked to be good, but it wasn't. They, you know, the family that had this probably just put it in this frame to kind of give it that great look because you're less inclined to be like oh wait is that a print not a painting so worth nothing <laughs> I should still be able to take the frame to the flea market and sell it you know the frame it is good to at least salvage the frame and someone can reuse that just clean it up and hang it on your wall and I learned something about this artist I learned something about chromolithographs and I learned that, you know, there still can be treasure found in the trash, such as the frame. Painting, not so much. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't worth thousands because that would have been a great story. But still, fun to get out there, have that kind of antiques roadshow moment and um, see what it was worth. Nothing. <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed this adventure with me. It certainly was an adventure. Maybe one day we will find some expensive painting in the trash. But until then, I'm still happy with picking up things that can be salvaged and other treasures that people do think of as trash. So thank you for joining. Be sure to stay tuned to other videos that I have coming up. And if you want to take a look back at the trash video, the whole trash video where I found this and some other goodies. Be sure to look back in my other episodes available and you'll be able to find it. So until next time, thank you all. Have a great day and see you later. Mm -hmm.